My name is Mary Nugokwe. I am one of the co-founders of uh, Dashiki Pride. My name is Lilian Nugokwe. I'm the co-founder of Dashiki Pride. Hello, my name is Mary Sonia Chizwaba Ugokwe. Well, for our brand, um, it all started in 2014 when um, I originally um, came up um, to, to my sisters um, about us, you know, selling dashikis and being able to, you know, like move um, the African culture forward. So me and my sisters were able to come together, put heads together to form a company. Um, named Dashiki Pride in order to put, um, and we registered it um, and we started the um, Instagram in 2014 and we've been, you know, um, pushing it ever since. The challenges that we faced, um, you know, running the company was uh, mainly um, going to school and running the business. It was really, really hard for us at some point because um, some of us were in our final year. So, you know, we had really important classes and um, important things that we, we couldn't miss in school. So we had to, um, we were able, we were just faced with the challenge of trying to balance everything out. But it wasn't really easy because, you know, that means sacrificing a lot of things. There were times that we would come back to school, from school from at like 6 p.m. in the, um, in the evening and would you know we stay up all night from 6 to like you know 6 a.m. the next morning just trying to you know make sure that everything business price was good and everything was running smoothly it wasn't easy but it was one of the challenges we were able to overcome one piece I think everyone should have is a dashiki I'll tell you why because dashiki is you can wear it anywhere you can wear it to go out you can wear it to go out to a friend's party you can just wear it anywhere My ideal signature, my ideal signature look would be so a dashiki with shorts and white sneakers. Um, I knew when I knew I wanted to do fashion was when I was in, a, in my second year of um, college. Um, I was kind of at a you know a very uh, unknown space. You know, it, it happens when you're a college student when you're you know being thrown with a lot of stuff that you don't you know you're like kind of trying to understand what you what you want to do so um i kind of came in, I, you know i kind of just you know talked to myself you know and looked to you know i just found out like yo i really do have an interest in fashion so um god willing we were able to start up that shiki pride and everything just fell into place Our upcoming collection will be our summer collection, which is basically, um, we have a lot of new prints out. So we have a lot of new styles. We're doing shorts, we're doing joggers, we're doing more shirts. Basically very new prints, new styles, mostly shorts and things for the summer basically. I see my brand crossing, having different stores in different countries. One, a pop-up store in Nigeria here. and. Um, in Australia, even in the UK, so I see us doing a lot of things. My a some of our A-list clients, people we've dressed, we've dressed Monica Brown, she has a Grammy, we've dressed Remy Ma, Young Thug, Black China, uh, Cynthia Bailey, Lil Wayne's daughter, his wife, ex-wife, uh, T.I.'s wife, his daughter, and more. Actually, uh, my fashion icon is my mother because she's a very stylish woman. She's a person I've looked up to fashion-wise all my life. Um, if I wasn't doing fashion, I would be doing law. Um, I've always wanted to be um, a lawyer um, since I was a little kid. But, um, you know, fashion was my, you know, was kind of my first passion. But if I wasn't doing that, I think I would be a lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer is kind of cool, yeah. My brand is different because we're very innovative. 
we're entrepreneurs at heart so anything we do is we're always trying to put a new twist on something we never do things twice or we don't want to do something that we've seen before so we always put put a new twist twist on like anything it doesn't matter how old how vintage how anything is we could basically make anything new and better um how i've been able to build my brand successfully is um first of all we we're able to plan then strategize then execute you know that the planning is very 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 crucial in running the business because there's there are a lot, there are a lot of uh, just things that just you know just spring off from nowhere so you have to be really really should be able to be ready for the unknown so planning would actually help you organize yourself you know just make sure that in case anything that just happens that, that, that you didn't you know expect for you're able to you know try to like you know get to that and you know let you know like you know kind of like resolve it so yeah planning um strategy to strategy is very 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 crucial in business um you should know how to run your you know business strategically more of work hard work smart not hard yeah I love everything about my job. I just, I love the fact that I'm able to do something I love so much. I'm able to continue living my passion, doing business, because I've always wanted to be a business person. I just wanted to be an entrepreneur from birth. So I'm just able to work for myself and do something I love. Okay, business in Lagos, I, I, business in Lagos is, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing that I, because I went to the market today and I saw people, you know, putting a lot of hard work. So I, I believe business in Lagos is really um, cool because people, a lot of people are putting in a lot of their hard work and it inspired me even more. So it's, a, it's an inspiration I'm going to be putting my brand and making sure that I'm putting as much work as possible because I saw people putting much work in their small business. Yes. Um, what else do I do aside of opening a clothing see, um, man, that's, that's all I do right now because, trust me, it's, it's going to keep your, like, your life really, really occupied. Also, we are, you know, we are, we are becoming serial entrepreneurs too. We are, you know, we're into our apps, me and my sisters, we ventured into app, we actually just, um, we, uh, we made an app, um, which is uh, the name of it is uh, Africa Moji. Africa Moji. Um, we've been able to. Um, we're venturing into apps now, so um, we're trying to um, broaden our. I, yeah, the she pride is being run by um, three sisters. Um, basically, me and my sisters, we you know came together and you know to start up a company. You know, we're, and we're pretty young entrepreneurs too. You know, it's I think it's really. Um, very, very important for us to send out this message to, you know, females and young ones that, you know, it's never too, you know, late to start up something, no matter how small. It's never too late to start up something. It's, it's all, it, it all began with just an idea, like, hey, we can do this, and look at where we are right now. You know, if we just sat down and just be like, ah, we're just we're kids, we can't do this, you know, there wouldn't be a Deskified company. So look at how far we're able to achieve just because of we just decided to push out an idea. So we just wanted, you know, kids and, you know, mostly females to understand that, you know, that don't let your gender, your age or anything limit you from starting up something. Our online store, which is um, www.dashikipai.com, it's a it's a worldwide online store, which um, our customers from you know all over the world are able to access to, to you know to look at our products and um, you know and shop from. Um, once you get to our website, it's very easy. Um, you click on um, the um, sh my shop. Tab, uh, tab it, it comes out with every um, and you're able to see the list of um, products that we have once you're able to click on the ones that you want with the size um, you add it to your cart and you're able to um, check out and you know we, you we have different um, types of payment means and we all we also ship worldwide, worldwide. Um, in the US which we are based it takes about five to seven business days for us to um, get your product to you and if you're um, abroad if you're worldwide 
takes about 10 business days for it to get to you so it, you know it's something that is very easy um we're trying to make um we we are working we work 24 7 to make sure that we're trying to improve our services in making sure that our customer has the best and easiest services possible so that's basically you know what i want I believe people should um, patronize the Shikipai because it's um, it's a part of our culture. It's something that our, our identity, for you know, for once, is being pushed all around the world. Uh, for once, that you know, we as Africans are not looked as the minority. We're not looked as the third world country. This is something that we're we're able to reach people in different world, in, in like in different countries all around the world. They're able to look at African prints in a positive light. So it's something that I think that, you know, people everywhere need to patronize that Shiki Pride, you know, just to you know, associate with culture, associate with identity. So it, it's something that, you know, people need to look into. I just want to Nigeria.